to the two of pentacles. Balance yourself out and find your priorities. Make getting away from this life-sucking situation an absolute priority for you. And the magician says, if you want it, it's yours. Manifest it. If you will follow the direction spirit is leading you, they will open the doors that need to be opened for you. It's lesson number one of the major arcana. Where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. You have the power to manifest anything that you want. And if you want out of this situation, start putting effort and energy and action towards it. Use your four elements. Create the thoughts that drive the motivation, that create the feelings that provide a sense of well-being. All four elements, earth, water, fire, and air. Well, hi, Pisces. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on with you guys? How's it going? How's it shaking? How's it hanging, Pisces? What's it doing? What's it doing? You guys ready to throw down some cards just for Pisces, all for Pisces, only Pisces and Pisces only. The last reading that Pisces got was actually a duplication of a quote-unquote Taurus reading, or we could say the Taurus reading was a quote-unquote duplication of the Pisces reading because it was a collective reading. It wasn't meant for either one of y'all. And it just blows my mind because I got so many comments about who is this for? It resonates with me, but is this for Pisces or is this for Taurus? And the strange social experiment that I did is when I put a label on it being Taurus or Pisces, right? Everybody said, oh yeah, Pisces. Oh yeah, this resonates. Oh yeah, Pisces. And all the Taurus said, oh yeah, Taurus. Yay, Taurus. This resonates, right? And it just is, is interesting to me that someone wouldn't get to hear the message that was meant for them in some form or fashion just because it didn't have a zodiac name in it. And that just blows my mind. So this reading is for Pisces. It is for Pisces. But you don't necessarily have to have Pisces in your chart for this to resonate with you. I am a Taurus sun, but I'm Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. I'm looking forward to this just as much as you guys are. So listen along with me. Sit down. Put your feet up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Relax. Throw it up on a big screen if you want to. Turn up the radio in the car, right? It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I clarify the reading and sew together a story. If that clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward that part of the video and we will pick up right where we left off. All right, Pisces, let's get into this. Give me a minute to get centered and channeled and we'll see what spirit has to say for you, okay? Here we go, Pisces. Boom. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me, spirit, and Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces and what does Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to look out for? What does Pisces need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for the best and highest good? Spirit, if you can please tell me where the stopping point is for Pisces. I will cut the cards three times and pull straight from the top, Spirit. Where, where is that stopping point for Pisces, Spirit? Where is that stopping point? I feel like it's right there. All right. Whoops. Let's see what's trying to get out all by itself. Justice in reverse. Wow. All right. Ready? Let's go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords, the truth, seeing the truth about something, needing to find the truth about something. Interesting. All right. 
first card out is the two of pentacles in, in reverse. Uh, financial imbalance, um, uh, imbalance in the sense of well-being. The eight of wands requires possibly some movement, some action, some change. The Prince of Swords in reverse, um, this is about either a lack of communication or it's about someone who needs to get their thoughts under control. The Chariot in reverse because it's a blockage of some sort. The Tower, implosion, explosion. But the thing about the Tower is that it is meant to bring an awakening, right? When shit goes wrong, we're supposed to look around and say, all right, what I'm trying to build right here whether it's something gigantic or something super small, but whatever I'm trying to build right here, the foundation of what I'm trying to build upon cannot bear the weight of that which I'm trying to build. That's the tower, okay? Revelation, awakening of an implosion of some sort. The Princess of Wands in reverse, she talks about setbacks or a lack of direction. The emperor in reverse, possibly being out of control, possibly some kind of energy that uh, needs some kind of self-discipline. The hermit in reverse in the center of the reading. Good grief, Pisces. The hermit in reverse is about withdrawing your energy, isolation, loneliness. The queen of cups in reverse, emotional codependency, um, emotional insecurity. Judgment in reverse, bad decision, self-doubt, deciding to not decide is a bad decision. Two of swords at a crossroads, six of swords, hit in the road. King of wands in reverse, egocentric, self-centered. Five of cups in reverse, moving on from some kind of regret. Five of wands, conflict. Four of pentacles in reverse, greed, debt, materialism, protecting yourself. The empress to the princess of swords in reverse. So the empress, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, 10 of cups in reverse, to the queen of wands and the lovers in reverse, to the two of cups in reverse, and the king of pentacles, to the seven of cups, the three of swords, the seven of swords, temperance, princess of cups in reverse, and the queen of pentacles, to the king of cups in reverse, and the wheel of fortune. Will you look at that? All right, so let's clarify this and see what the heck is going on here. I know there's a lot of people out there, especially those of you who are either new to tarot or don't really get into the whole science of tarot, but all of these reversals are not necessarily a bad thing, okay? They're not necessarily a bad thing. So let's see. Two of Pentacles in reverse sets the tone for the whole reading, and these cards definitely want to be seen on top of that. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Swords is about seeing the truth, possibly stating the truth. Three of Pentacles in reverse is about a lack of teamwork and collaboration. The Eight of Wands, oh wait, hold up, we got the Four of Cups and the Ten of Cups, I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So the Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, see the truth, Queen of Swords, okay, I understand. Eight of Wands, movement, action, and change. What is this about right here? The Fool in reverse. You would be foolish if you did not take some kind of action in this situation. Interesting. What's the Prince of Swords in reverse about? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Lack of success, a lack of reward. If you keep doing what you've always done, you will continue to get what you've always gotten. Look, the chariot in reverse, a blockage. Why? Because of, of look at all these pentacles that we have here. Because of um, unable to share in some kind of prosperity in the realm of your well-being, possibly your home, right? There is the, the chariot can't move forward and the eight of wands comes on top of it and says, take some action and take some action now. What is this tower about right here? What is the tower? What is the tower about, please? What is the tower? The seven of swords in reverse, breaking free from a futile mentality, breaking free from some kind of deception, possibly breaking free from some kind of manipulation with the king of swords in reverse. He's a guy about manipulation, uh, abuse, tyranny, misuse of power, impulsive, angry. What's this about? What is, give me one more on the king of swords in reverse. Frustrations, delays, 
the th well, actually, I'm going to tell you all right now, this goes with this Princess of Wands right here, which is about delays, setbacks to the long-term idea. Hangman in reverse is resistance. Three of Wands in reverse is about um, a lack of foresight, obstacles to the long-term goals. Tell me who this Emperor in reverse is right here. What is this about? What is the Emperor in reverse right here? What is this about? What is the Emperor in reverse about, please? What is the... There we go. The Seven of Cups in reverse. It kind of came out a little bit upwards, too. So I'm going to read it both ways and see what it has to say. Um, Nine of Swords in reverse wants to show for sure. So, nine. That was an accident. That was a total accident. Um, so, Spirit, tell me, what is the root of this Emperor in reverse? Actually, I'll do that. I'll go back and ask that with a different deck of cards. That's what I'm going to do. So, the Hermit in reverse. Withdrawal. Withdrawal, isolate, loneliness, Knight of Swords. Oh, you know what? I think this Knight of Swords is talking about possibly the same Knight of Swords that's up there. Um, a lack of action or um, some kind of dis did, um, untruth of some sort. So the Hermit, isolation, loneliness, withdrawal, withdrawal, Page of Swords, huh, to the Two of Cups in reverse. Wow, so the Page of Swords in reverse is all talk, no action, undelivered promises, Two of Cups in reverse, bad relationship, the Tower in reverse, avert disaster, the Eight of Cups, walk away. Look at that. Focus, avoid the conflict, and prioritize. Holy schmoly. Wow. Spirit, wow. Wow. All right. Y'all need to know that I'm probably going to swear, okay? And I smoke my vape, so chill out. That's the Darth Vader sound right there. Don't worry, I'm not on a respirator. Okay, so the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, bottom of the deck was the Ace of Swords, correct? Ace of Swords is about seeing the truth, coming to the reality of a situation and seeing the truth once and for all, crystal clear, okay? In your mind. To why? Two of Pentacles in reverse. There is financial imbalance in your life, Pisces financial imbalance. Um, there is also, if it's not financial imbalance, there is absolutely definitely an imbalance in your sense of well-being that is affecting your entire life. Queen of Swords, just like this Ace of Swords right here, says snap to it. Snap to it, get your mind straight. Use facts, logic, reasoning, and intellect to make decisions that are in your best interest at this particular time because there is an imbalance in either your finances or your root sense of well-being okay the three of pentacles in reverse comes on top of this and says whatever your situation is you are not going to get the teamwork and the collaboration that you anticipate out of this situation or the teamwork and the collaboration isn't there to begin with and that's why this is saying see the truth okay Four of Cups, you think you got it handled, you think you understand in your emotions the Three of Cups right there, right? You, you, you think, you see, three is about initial achievement, right? So you think you got it figured out, but the hand of spirit is offering you a fourth cup. This fourth cup is going to bring stability into your emotional processes, and you are going to be able to see with this Ace of Swords right here, the truth of a situation. So listen to what spirit has to say, because they're fixing to break it down for you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is loss, loss in your sense of security, possibly loss in a home situation, some sort. But the Ten of Pentacles is the be all to end all in someone's sense of well-being. And in the reverse, that is not happening or it's going to be taken away from you somehow, some way. The Eight of Wands. Take some action. You need to take some action to the fool in reverse. It is foolish of you not to take action. And as we will see down here with the tower in reverse, it is time to avert disaster. Not this tower down here. Okay. It is time to avert some kind of disaster in your life. You would be foolish if you did not move 
and take action. The Prince of Swords in reverse. You need to get your, your, your thoughts straight. Lesson number one, the magician right here in the center of your reading. Where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. You have the power to manifest anything and everything in your life. So check yourself and see what it is that you're manifesting because it's not going right or it's not going to go right for you, okay? Get your thoughts straight. Prince of Swords in reverse also lends itself to a bit of dishonesty somehow, some way. These Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Again, more Pentacles, right? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is a lack of success, a lack of reward. It's a card about if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten, which is why the Ace of Swords is saying, see the truth of a situation. You would be foolish not to leave this. You see the Eight of Wands right here is pointing out of this reading away from everything else. You would be foolish, reckless, if you did not leave this situation. Okay, you think you got it under control, but you don't. Imbalanced, get it together. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. And Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's it's either going to fuck you over or it is fucking you over, okay? The chariot in reverse. You cannot go forward. You can't go forward. You just can't. You, you're blocked. Why are you blocked? Because you're not putting in the self-power, the determination to self-power, the willpower, the self-control, or the determination to do what needs to be done, right? Why aren't you doing that? Well, I don't know. That's kind of not being told to me here. All that's being told to me here is that you're doing something that is not in your best interest, and it's time to go. Because if you keep doing what you've always been doing, you're going to always get what you've always been getting. The chariot in reverse, you're blocked. The six of pentacles in reverse, perhaps um, you're spending way too much money on something. Perhaps you're trying to take care of situations or circumstances in your life that um, are not your responsibility to take care of. Hold on. Whatever it is, it's a lack of prosperity in your sense of well-being. To the eight of wands, again, just like this eight of wands. Eight of Wands to the Eight of Wands, right? Movement, action, change, leave the situation. How do you do this? What it's telling you here is change. How do you change? These are pointing into this whole reading. This is how you change the situation. The Tower, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If it hasn't happened already and you are in this situation and this is resonating with you, it's going to happen, okay? The Seven of Swords in Reverse says, break free while you can. Break free while you can to the King of Swords in Reverse. Because there is some kind of misuse of power of some sort going on here. What is this King of Swords? The Moon. You know this. Okay, somebody is lording over you somehow, some way, or they're manipulating you or taking advantage of you. Absolutely. Positively break free from this hmm. the moon this is the struggle this is the, the human struggle it's always the same for every person it's the struggle in the subconscious between that which you know to be true and that which you struggle against in your flesh because the flesh wants what the flesh wants and the eight of pentacles in reverse says whatever you're doing can't work um, it is an upset to your well-being. It's not going to work out. You maybe have some kind of idea of some kind of, this is about perfectionism sometimes. And perhaps it's about some ideology of how things should be versus how they really are. And you keep holding on to this idea of how it should be or how it's going to be. But I'm telling you right now, these cards are saying it's not going to be like that. Okay. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is also about lacking ambition or focus. Perhaps what it is that's causing your financial setbacks or, or imbalance in your sense of well-being is that um, the people around you maybe don't have motivation. If this is some kind of a business deal, perhaps you're getting into business with people that are going to drain you dry. If this is a family situation, perhaps um, there is someone somewhere that is milking you to death. But whatever this is, you got to get out of it, okay? 
Eight of Pentacles in reverse says it isn't going to work. Stop struggling in your subconscious and accept the fact with the Ace of Swords that it's foolish for you to stay here because you're either experiencing loss or you will. The Princess of Wands in reverse. This is obstacles to your long-term goals. It's delays. It's, it's aimlessly drifting. The Hangman in reverse says, why are you resisting? Why are you resisting making a change? The longer you resist, the longer everything is going to be stalled and delayed. What's everything? Well, it's this chariot in reverse right here. The longer you resist, the longer this chariot can't go forward. Resist what? Recognizing the situation and making the changes that you need to make for your own well-being. To the three of wands in reverse. It's obstacles to your long-term goals. And a lack of foresight as to what's coming on down the road is going to get you screwed over. The emperor in reverse, you are dealing with someone or something or a group of people that do not have control of themselves and they don't have self-discipline. The hermit in reverse says to withdraw your energy from that, but also says perhaps you are afraid or reluctant to withdraw your energy from that out of concern for perhaps loneliness. Queen of Cups in reverse tells me maybe you're emotionally codependent somehow, some way on this situation, or perhaps you are a bit insecure that you can't make it on your own with judgment in reverse being self-doubt and the Four of Wands in reverse being um, insecure in um, home, I think. Okay. Okay. Emperor in reverse is clarified by the wanky seven of cups, right? So seven of cups in reverse is going to be diversionary tactics or coming and getting your head out of the clouds, right? Either way, this person, place, people, or thing that is sorely lacking self-control somehow, some way, um, um, is a diversionary tactic to your life. Get your head out of the clouds. Okay, in the upright, it's going to be this emperor in reverse, right? Why, why are you even thinking that you, you, this is an option? Why are you even considering this is an option? Perhaps this emperor in reverse has options of their own, right? And, and that's maybe in the end how you're going to get screwed. Okay. Nine of Swords in reverse says this is about to be a painful lesson, Pisces. Knight of Swords in reverse again says get your thoughts together. Pull yourself together. The Hermit in reverse. Withdraw your energy. Why? Page of Swords in reverse because it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. The Two of Cups in reverse says this is a misaligned relationship. The Tower in reverse says avert disaster. Okay? How? How? By breaking free from a potentially um, or an already a, a kinetically disadvantaged position for yourself. Tower in reverse is also about having a personal transformation. What I say a while ago, the tower is meant to bring you a revelation that where you're trying to build cannot sustain the weight of what you're trying to build. So have a personal transformation, avert disaster, this, whatever this is for you, whether it's a relationship or a job or a situation or a circumstance, get out, avert disaster, don't go. Eight of cups in reverse, you will be sorely emotionally disappointed, but the eight of cups in reverse is also the fuck it, I'm walking away from this card. Walk away from it. Eight of pentacles, perhaps you're going to be better on your own. Focus, walk away from it, and focus on your work. Focus perfecting your craft. Focus on what it is that you're supposed to be focused on because whatever this is ain't working up here for you. It's distracting you. It's standing in your way. It's keeping you with the chariot in reverse from going forward. And the fool in reverse says this is foolish. Diversionary tactics with that seven of cups in reverse. Whatever you're doing is taking you away from your purpose, whatever that is, your purpose, the five of ones, you can't build inside of conflict, or perhaps this is saying you are conflicted about this, to the two of pentacles, balance yourself out and find your priorities, make getting away from this life-sucking situation an absolute priority for you. And the magician says, if you want it, it's yours, manifest it. If you will follow the direction spirit is leading you, they will open the doors that need to be opened for you. It's lesson number one of the major arcana. Where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. 
You have the power to manifest anything that you want. And if you want out of this situation, start putting effort and energy and action towards it. Use your four elements. Create the thoughts that drive the motivation, that create the feelings that provide a sense of well-being. All four elements, earth, water, fire, and air. The Queen of Cups in reverse, like I said, possibly a little emotionally codependent, um, possibly have some self-doubt to the Four of Wands in reverse about being able to make it on your own. Two of Swords, you're at a crossroads. You sure are. You're at a crossroads. And the Six of Swords says, if you will leave, just like the Eight of Wands is saying, if you will leave this behind you, Ace of Wands, there will be an inspired new beginning to the Ten of Cups, and you will be emotionally fulfilled. You can't give anything to anybody until all four elements are balanced. And if you are after emotional fulfillment of some sort, you're going to have to leave behind this emotional unfulfillment. Not only emotional unfulfillment, but your whole sense of well-being. Your home, your money, your bank account, your car, Maybe somebody got in an accident and fucked up your car and you're still letting them drive it, right? I don't know. I don't know. Six of swords. Leave. Eight of swords. But you're afraid. You're afraid. You're afraid because you're emotionally codependent somehow, some way. Emotionally insecure somehow, some way. Self-doubt is keeping you from making a very important decision because I think you're worried that you can't do it on your own, whatever it is. King of Wands in reverse. It's the same as that emperor in reverse. It's an egocentric, self-centered person that is um, doing you dirty somehow, some way. Maybe even not intentionally. King of Wands in reverse also is a lack of success. To the two of wands in reverse, you can't build your future here. Death in reverse. It's time for a personal transformation. Stop resisting change to the two of swords because you're at a very serious crossroads. You're, you're, you're losing, you're, you're hemorrhaging a sense of well-being here. Whatever that is, if it's your money, if it's your family, if it's, if it's the floor that you put your feet on, whatever it is for you, it is hemorrhaging and you, you're going to have to put a tourniquet on it. And the only way to do that is to make the decision to take the actions to actually leave the situation behind. Five of cups in reverse. Move on. Leave the regret behind. Move on. Five of ones from the conflict. Four of pentacles in reverse. Protect yourself. Protect your money. To the Empress, be a badass. Be a badass. The Empress happens to life. Life doesn't happen to the Empress. The Empress utilizes the magician constantly in her life. She's constantly monitoring her thoughts. She's constantly aware of what it is she is bringing forth into her life. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two is the High Priestess. The Empress is constantly following her intuition and weighing it against her thoughts and, and choosing to follow her intuition because she knows it's spirit leading her, in her into the direction of her best and highest good. She's lesson number three. Three is about achievement and growth, right? And that's why she is the Empress, because she achieves and grows based on the two fundamental principles of life, following your intuition and monitoring the thoughts in your life because they become your reality. The Empress, Princess of Swords in Reverse, she knows. She knows this already. And you know this already. She knows it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises, Ten of Cups in reverse. She knows there's an upset somewhere, somehow, deep inside. The Queen of Wands to the Lovers in reverse. Queen of Wands to the Lovers in reverse tells me there is someone else involved in this situation. Someone perhaps behind the scenes. Someone perhaps it is a landlord. Perhaps it is um, um, a boss. Perhaps it's it could be a mother or a father. Could definitely be a sister. But there is someone else besides you here, Pisces, right? 
that is contributing somehow, some way to um, an upset in some kind of significant relationship. Perhaps it's a new employee. Perhaps it's a new coworker. But there is upset somehow. Some, perhaps it's a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend. Perhaps your ex has a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend, right? And they're saying, oh, no, you need to take you need to take mom or daddy to court for more child support. And it's just draining you somehow, some way. I don't know where that came from. That's really not applicable here. But if it's you, then there you go. The lovers in reverse to the two of cups in reverse, an imbalanced relationship to the king of pentacles and the seven of cups and the three of swords. Hold on a second to the seven of swords, betrayal, deception. OK. So, this Queen of Wands right here, okay, enter the Queen of Wands into this whole thing. So far, it's all been about you, 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 what you need to do, how you feel, what's going on in your situation, your advice. Enter the Queen of Wands. This is someone else to the lovers in reverse that is causing some kind of upset in a significant relationship of yours somehow, some way, okay? The King of Pentacles comes on top of it and talks about talks about your sense of security. I feel like this is something else, though. Tell me what this King of Pentacles is, please. What is this King of Pentacles? What is this? What is this King of Pentacles? The Empress. Oh, goodness. Uh, perhaps this is a husband. Perhaps this is a child. Perhaps this is um, boss. Yeah, same thing. It could go anywhere. You see, this is a general reading. I don't know who the heck I'm talking to or what it is I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look, I got these. Okay. So, interference in some kind of significant relationship. Okay. This King of Pentacles represents the significant relationship. Whatever that is for you, Pisces, this King of Pentacles represents the significant relationship that you need to break away from, okay, to the Empress. The Empress could also could be reiterating the first Empress that was here, which is about how you're supposed to boss up and do what you know you need to do, like the Moon card, right? Do what you know you need to do um, versus what it is that you want to do. Okay. Um, this empress could be a mother. It could be you as a mother. This empress could be your mother. Um, she represents the understanding that needs to happen here. Okay. The king of pentacles represents who it is that this is about you and the other person. The queen of wands represents a third party of some sort, some way. Okay. Um, I do want to say that I, that, uh, I just on the fly, right? Perhaps this king of wands, this queen of wands back here and the king of pentacles get pregnant. Okay. Perhaps they get pregnant. Just saying, throwing that out there. Okay. So I asked about this King of Pentacles, right? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is there a lack of success? Why is there an upset in the sense of well-being or, or the, the expenditures that's, that I'm seeing in this reading right here is because the King of Pentacles that you think this person is, he's not capable of being a true King of Pentacles. Because this person is the king of wands in reverse and the emperor in reverse, but you hold this person in high regard as the king of pentacles. Okay? You do. He can't be a king of pentacles. To the fool in reverse, and it's foolish to think that he can. And the five of wands say, there's a bunch, a bunch of conflict coming your way. Okay? Um, seven of cups. Uh, options, choices, decisions, grief, sorrow, pain, seven of swords, some kind of betrayal or deception. Somebody's trying to get away with something. And I want to point out that if somebody's trying to get away with something with you and you keep letting it happen, right? And you keep hemorrhaging a sense of well-being or your finances, okay? 
you are actually circumventing their journey. Because if you are enabling this person to be codependent on you somehow, some way, you are disabling them from learning the lessons that they need to learn in their life, like perhaps how to stand on their own two feet. Or you need to learn your lesson about how to stand on your, two, your own two feet. Temperance. Balance it out, Pisces. Balance it out inside of yourself. Calm down. Take a deep breath. And follow your intuition. The Princess of Cups in reverse. There's nothing to be had here. Queen of Pentacles. For your own sense of well-being. King of Cups in reverse. Stop being emotionally manipulated. There is a turning point. Spirit says if you will listen and you will follow. We will divinely orchestrate the path of your life. To lead you to exactly where you need to be. But we need you to participate because your, we cannot intervene, intervene in your free will. And if your free will keeps you in a situation that goes against what spirit says is your best and highest good, then you're on your own until you decide to step into a, an energy where spirit can participate in your life. They can't intervene in your free will. Spirit says, we'll help you if you want it. To the four of swords. Come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that this situation, leaving this situation, is going to bring you. Pick up the fourth sword, bring stability to your mindset, ace of wands, and take some inspired action. Have some enthusiasm and some excitement to explore and discover alternative directions in your life. Knight of Wands in reverse. You will only experience frustrations and delays here. And right, if, if you can't spin this in the upright and take some inspired action, you are going to be walled off with frustrations and delays because this chariot cannot roll. Again to the Wheel of Fortune. If you will take your free will and point it towards understanding and following the direction that spirit wants for your life, if you will stop struggling with your subconscious and struggling with your intuition, tell your ego to take a back seat, tell your flesh to take a back seat, and follow what it is that spirit is telling you to do, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. There you go, Pisces. I hope that that helps someone somehow, some way. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want your own story, if you want to know your story, you need to have your own cards read. You can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. It's just that easy. It's the only way that you can make an appointment with me. If you will go to the website and schedule your own reading, we will find out exactly what this is about you specifically. And all of these cards will be attached to your circumstances and situations. Other than that, don't make any kind of life altering decisions based on my general tarot card readings or anybody else's. Namaste.